Um, this video will show you how using a VPN to bypass uh, work or um, school proxy. Okay, a lot of people like me use proxies and VPNs all the time. I use it because I travel and um, I like to watch the BBC when I'm outside the UK and all the other UK TV channels and the sports channels and the radio. Um, people use this, these VPNs all the time to watch different stuff and uh, use it for a secure connection. But one of the problems is um, in corporate or school or college networks, these VPN programs don't work. So I'm gonna show you quickly one of the um, features in Identity Cloaker, which is the VPN I use, that can bypass this. It's a lot more sophisticated than most um, VPN programs. It can get quite complicated under the roof, but this is just showing you one of the simple settings. Okay, so we go into settings in Identity Croker and click, click beg your pardon, local proxy. Now what this does is um, in a normal network environment, um, a lockdown environment, most internet, outbound internet connections, when you use the web and stuff, or email, they'll go out through a proxy server, the corporate proxy server. This is so they can log what you're doing, and they can put sort of filters and blocks. Now, the problem is you normally will have to go through that proxy because there will be a firewall that will only allow outward access through that proxy server. So if you fire up your normal VPN client, that won't go through that proxy. It'll go, try and go straight out directly to the VPN server. It doesn't matter which one you use, any web one or um, something like, um, HMA or private VPN they'll all get blocked because they're not going through the local proxy that's the only thing that's allowed through in lots of these networks so if you're in that situation it won't work no VPN will work going outwards okay so what you do here is tell Identity Cloaker to use the internal proxy okay now you need to find the proxy servers address for this so um, you need to pop that in there and you need to put the port number that it's using. It's normally 8,000 or 8080 or 80. And then you've got this little tab here's the authentication. Now, maybe there's no authentication set at all and it just allows any client through. Fine, just leave it at naught. Password, there may be a username that you have in your network that allows you access through or sometimes they have um, internet groups. So you've got to maybe do training or you, only these people in these groups are allowed it see so a username there or there'll be something called NTLM <coughs> which is NT land manager so that that's in Windows environments um, probably your client is already part of a domain and it's authenticated through so you don't put the username and password it'll just let that client through difficult to say which one you're using kind of try them one by one um, Proxy server address can be, you may know this or you may not. Let me just close Identity Cloaker for a minute. One way of doing it, if you have access to a command tool, is to go like this. There's a, um, a command called tracert, which if you type that, will show you the route to um, the, your internet connection is taking from your client to Google, for instance. Now you can see the first one here goes to my um, ADSL router. I'm at home at the moment. So the first hop on my um, route out to Google is my router. <clears throat> if you do this in a, a network environment, it will probably be set to your default gateway or your proxy. So you'll see the proxy server address there somewhere when you do the trace route. The other way of doing it is to find, let me just look into your internet connection settings. So here, let me look in our settings for Chrome. Uh, you need to show advanced settings. Uh, where will it be? It'll be down here under network change proxy settings. Um, you'll get this little internet explorer thing and under land settings you should get this screen here and it's called proxy server and you should have the address and the port you need to use there sometimes these will be grayed out because normally um, corporate PCs are 
configured when they boot up so they get the settings automatically from the network so they'll probably be grayed out and they may have automatically detect settings or this will be set up to use the specific proxy server so just take that and put it in identical local proxy settings that's all there is to it um it's quite a sophisticated feature and you will only need this in a corporate environment don't try and use it at home or in a um, internet cafe or coffee shop but you won't need it and it'll it'll probably just stop your connection working but if you are in a, a situation where your VPN or your proxy doesn't work it's normally because of this um, internal proxy that you need to boot through say so identical it can go through that I've tried it in quite a few settings and it, and it works as long as you get the settings correctly so um, that's it I hope somebody somewhere has found this of use Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.